thought I was getting my supermodel on when I came out, but then you came out. I mean, look at this woman. What? Look at this woman. <laughs> oh my God. I just saw you at the Golden Globes. You yes. looked so amazing. You were so golden. Did you see my gold? I loved it. Oh my God. <laughs> I loved it. I love your hair. Yes, I love this. I love this. So this is a new designer that I found online. Mm -hmm. His name is Kevin uh, Germanier, and he does only upcycling. And I wanted to give upcycling a moment on a really big red carpet um, because all he does is new outfits out of scraps. So everything is scraps or it's beads, feathers, everything you can find. Yes. And then he makes you something new. So I thought it's really good for the environment and I wanted to really like give him a moment. So here it is. Well. It is gorgeous. <laughs> I saw you from a distance and I was like, look at her. She just looks so beautiful. Now, I know how hard it was for me and my gown. I think, I think you should make a manual on how to get inside of a car, uh, in a gown, in a dress uh, for a red carpet. Was it, was it hard? Would it bend? Is it, oh my, it well, my, you know, it had like the little mirrors on it. First it was loud. You yeah. could hear me coming a mile away. Yeah. <laughs> this is me trying to get in the car. Oh yes, I have the, you need a stretch one. You need a stretch limousine for those moments so you can lay there the like this, scene. going there. That's how it goes. Yeah. But then, then you have bad elbows. Then you get up and you're like, why are my elbows looking so bad? So it's always something. It's always you something. Sit and you get up, all of, a, all of a sudden the knees are blotched out. So it's like, you can never get it right. I wish uh -huh. when you get to the event, there's like a little tent, you go in, they can steam, you know, and get you ready before you go get on that you ready to hear. Right? So your daughter is modeling now, and I was at her first fashion show. So yes. how was that? I mean, Venice. Right in Venice. Oh my God. Literally, this was one of the most amazing fashion shows I have ever seen. You know, so here we are in Venice. I mean, look at this gorgeous dress that you have on. And then, I mean, how did you were singing in Italian? Oh, girl, it took me the whole pandemic I was to like, learn oh, this song. She sings in Italian too. It was my daughter's very first fashion show for Dolce Gabbana. Yes. We flew there, and she wasn't even nervous. I was nervous for her, you know. Uh huh. And and she grew up practicing in your heels. Not only her, my other three children as well. I have four. All your children. Yeah, so she's 18, then I have two more boys, 17 and 16. Oh. And then I have a 13-year-old daughter. You have a 13-year-old yes, son. Yes, I have a 13-year-old son. I mean, they know how to walk in heels, yes. Wow. <laughs> well, what is it like for you having a house full of teenagers now? They run the house. <laughs> they run the house because with four kids, well, now my oldest daughter moved to New York because uh -huh. she's going to college uh, in New York, which is so crazy. So one room is already empty and dark. Not empty, oh. she still has her things in there, but it's like the light is off Beautiful. in that room. Yeah, and um, so my other three, when they have friends over, it's like a lot of kids. Lot they of run kids. all over the house, and then I don't know where to go anymore myself. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> And then all your births were filmed of your babies? Yes. Are you, have they seen it and are you going yes. to show it to them? My dad, my dad actually filmed it. I he know did. it probably sounds strange, but my parents were all there, mm -hmm. um, you know, when I gave birth to my kids. And wow. I wanted it documented because I thought if they don't want to watch it, they can always toss it, but at least they have it. I love that idea. I wish I hadn't known about that. Were you very loud and screaming? Oh, uh, no, I had a sincere, and I said, get this baby, I won't go home. <laughs> and so, but I, you know, I wish, you know, that's a special moment, because I'm a picture fanatic. Like, I take a picture of, I still take pictures of every phase, and I'm, he like, stop taking pictures, because when they get to that teenage yeah. age, yeah. they don't want you to take pictures, they want to hold on right to their now. image. You know? I have that right now. Why, mom, why do you always have to take photos? Right. And I'm like, because later you're gonna wanna see you at that stage, and obviously if I don't take the photos now, you won't see it. Exactly. That, that's so true. <laughs> okay, so you got a big birthday coming up. You're turning 50. Are you having a party? Well, I hope so. I told my husband, you better get on it. It better be good. <laughs> <laughs> that's because a lot of every pressure. Year, it wasn't like a big birthday, so I thought, you know, you always have like family and friends. Yes. But I thought 50, that's like a pretty big number. So I said to my husband, I would love to now have a big birthday party. Do you hear me? My love. Uh oh, get him. <laughs> you hear that? <laughs> okay, and then uh, your Halloween costumes. I think you're the queen of Halloween with the it costumes. So much Do fun. you see this? I know. Can you see my little face in there? The thing is, when you're trapped, so already three hours. <laughs> that's you? Yeah, that's me. So already three hours before, I'm not drinking anything, I'm not eating anything because. What are you gonna do? I can't be like, I have to go to the bathroom, guys. You know, get me out of this. It's not possible. 
I can't even move my head to the side. I can't go here. Go, I can't do anything. I'm just stuck. So everything moves. Are you claustrophobic like in there? Am I claustrophobic yeah. in it? I was like, <gasps> it, I was so wet. It was like I was literally leaving a, well, it wasn't a snail trail, but it was a <laughs> worm, kind of rainworm trail. But it was, you know, because I was just sweating inside so much. How soon in advance do you decide your costume? Very long, very long before, because this had to be built. It's like a foam thing, and I have to fit exactly in it, because also I didn't want any human body to be seen any, in there anymore. So, you know, I didn't want to see a curve of a breast or a hip, so everything was tight. So I was literally, like, stuck in there like this, and I could only, like, <laughs> move like this. <laughs> like, a, like a worm or something. And then I said to my husband, if I fall, which I will, because I really wanted to do the interviews on the floor because I thought it would be funny, I was like, but if I fall on my face, make sure, look where my face is, because I don't want to be like... <laughs> you know what I mean? Because then, oh my God, there's my makeup on my couch. It's OK. <laughs> and, I love it. I was it. like, don't let me suffocate if I fall on my face. What? OK. Because well, you can't get up. You, have you ever tried? You can't get up. Have well, I ever tried? It's not, <laughs> not possible. <laughs> like, if you don't have elbows or anything to push you off, or even your legs, if you can't move them at all. What if your back like, was itching or something? What you do? You just can't do anything. You can just be a worm. <laughs> Heidi and I love being a worm. And you clearly <laughs> love being a worm. So you are up for a lot of things, but what, what is the scariest thing you've ever done? Scariest thing I've done, swimming with sharks, but not in a tank. Really? And I actually didn't even know how to scuba dive, so I had to learn two days before how to scuba dive. And then, you know, they went out there with me into the ocean and they like just hop in really fast and then go down really fast because this is the most dangerous time is when you hop in because it's like infested with sharks. You see them all. So what you don't want to do is when you jump in, jump on one because then they get angry and they might be like. <laughs> so you go in and you go down fast and then you have to be like this. It, and then they come by. Hands. Oh, this is scary. Because You're they great. smile at you. They're like, hi. Uh-oh. And they come really close and they check you out. It's scary. I mean, I cursed when I came out of, when I, as soon as that was out of my mouth, I was like, bleep, bleep, bleep. <laughs> I won't be doing that, Heidi. Yeah. That's for sure. OK, well, we thought we'd play a game where we're going to put up a scenario and you tell us if it's a yes or no from you. And since you're German, we're calling this Heidi Klum's yay or nee. Nee. <laughs> Would you ever jump out of a plane? Oh, nee. What? Nee, 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 nee. So you could swim with sharks, but you can't jump out of a plane? No, 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 no. Even if you give me a lot of money, nee, 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 nee. I'm terrified already just sitting strapped in when they're like, borderline when they say it's going to be a really bumpy ride. I want to be like, mm, maybe I go tomorrow. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm there. I'm like that. Wow. If it gets really bumpy, I'm like, ding, ding, ding. They come, they're like, no, we can't. I'm like, can I sit with you guys in the front, please? <laughs> I want to sit with the stewardesses. I want to sit with the captain. Just don't leave me here by myself. I would be like, oh. So long as you have a, someone to hold your hand, yeah. is it, does that help? Yeah. Or if, you know, sometimes you have clients and they're like, we really need you in New York tomorrow, but you're filming late. You can't hop on a normal plane. Can we set you, send you a jet? I'm like, nee. Nee. <laughs> nee. I understand like, nee. that one. Let's try another one. <laughs> Would you ski naked? Probably, uh, why not? I could see that. <laughs> I could see that. Like, that's an easy one. The thing is, also, I've been skiing my whole entire life, so I don't go down with the snow, you know, you guys here call it pizza, you know, when they're like this. I know how to keep my legs nice together, so I could do it naked, like, boop, <laughs> boop, boop, no problem. You have a lot of fun, <laughs> I can tell. A lot of fun. OK, well, let's see another one. What? Uh, oh, no, I know I'm not doing that. Would you pose with a live spider? Uh-uh. Oh, yeah, and I have. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. No, okay. I can't even look oh, at that. Yeah. Mm -mm. Oh, but, you know, they're okay. just little spiders, and they just have a lot of hair on them. The thing is, what I don't love, like, sometimes on America's Got Talent, there will be a magician, and they have a box, and they do some stuff, and they're like, oh, just put your hand in it. And I put it, you know, put it in. And then later, they open the box, and there's tarantulas Ooh, in there. Oh, no, They don't no. tell you this stuff. Like, we get to do some crazy stuff. But they always give those crazy things to me. Heidi, how you feel about planes <laughs> is how I feel about spiders. I cannot. I even hear you talk about it. It's taking me out. Moving on to the next one. 
Ouch. Uh, ah, also, do that. <laughs> did, you know, did you know that when one leg by accident comes off or gets chopped off, it grows back? Isn't that amazing? And you ain't scared of that? And they go out of their entire body okay. fully. Okay, girl, I can't do this. I think once a year they do it. Slap the guy. Heidi, come on. Okay, let's, let's move on. W would you have another baby? Ooh, you? No, thank you. I mean, sometimes it's like, nee, ya, yeah, nee, ya, yeah, nee, ya, yeah. nee, ya, yeah, nee, ya, nee. But I collect other people's children. I take your kid. But no, I ain't trying to have no more babies. I love the baby I got. It depends what day it is. Sometimes I'm here, sometimes, sometimes here, you know? Yeah, maybe not. I mean, it's a lot. I've done it four times. Four times? <laughs> You're so funny. You know? And then I breastfed eight months each time, and then, and then I was pregnant again. Three times in a row. Again, I have an 18, a 17, a 16, and a 13. So I was like, OK. <laughs> well, I can babysit, honey. Now I waited a long time, so I'm maybe, yeah. Hood. Yeah? OK. <laughs> there we have it. OK, we got one more. This is getting good. <laughs> oh, will you teach me how to yodel? Yeah. OK, let's see. Yeah. You know, a lot of people have asked me, but no one could do it. But you are like a real singer, so Ooh, you both. Let's see. I don't know. Yoda. You better sing. Go go. Yoda. Yoda. Yada. Yoda. One more time. Yoda. Yada. Yoda. Yada. Yada. Yoda. Yada. Yoda. I didn't do all that. Yoda. Always so happy to see you. Same. But you I look can, amazing. Yo, you look amazing. I thought I was looking good till you walked out here. Oh, come on. Every time I see you, it's like you get more and more beautiful. It's like I can't get used oh, to it. Thank you. It's my husband, probably. Oh, it is. Oh, yeah. Listen Maybe he's that. giving me all the what I have. I need. need that type of love then, because <laughs> you got it, little sister. That is for sure. Tell me this. How was your holiday? That it was amazing. We were just in St. Bart's for two weeks. I mean, it's such a beautiful island, and we were just the two of us. You know, we have four kids, and they were with their dad, so we were like, live your best beach. life. So, yes, we were living just our single tour life. Yeah. Mm, that just sounds nice amazing. sometimes. Ooh, oh, I heard you started dance lessons. Yes. Because everyone is always like, what is your New Year's resolution? One was for me to not drink so much coffee anymore, because I can't handle all the coffee. I'm on it. I have to go to decaf, because I'm already hyper, so all that coffee is just not <laughs> good for me. And then I said to my husband, I would love to do dance lessons with So you're putting you. your energy into the dancing? Yeah, so now every Saturday we do dance lessons. How is that going? It's amazing. You love it? I love it. You learn any good dance yes. moves yet? We started with the Roomba. Oh. Because it's nice, you know, we're only going to get older, and I want to do, like, nice dances with him. You know, when you're at an event or something, and I don't want him to step on my feet all the time, or we just look like <laughs> the doofuses like dancing around. So I thought it was nice for us to, you know, learn all these traditional dances together. I think that's a great idea. Yeah. And then the last time you were here, you were talking about him planning your 50th birthday party. Yes. So how did he do? And did y'all do any good, good dancing there? Very, very good. It was like my first big, big birthday party ever that was thrown for me. So it was my big 50th. So I said to him, like, please go all out. Oh. And it was amazing. It was like a 20, 20th theme. Uh -huh. So it was like all, you know, beautiful gowns and like feathers in the hair. Oh. And it was like a lot of fun. Like, Family and friends came from all over, from Germany. People from New York came to fly in. So it was beautiful to see so many people that showed up for you. Uh, yes. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. He outdid himself yeah. for that. Yeah. And then you did some of your good dance moves there at all? Well, nothing that we've learned together yet, because that was <laughs> June of last year. But yeah. hopefully this birthday this year, we can do some cha-cha, some waltz, or something Oh, so like you that. already got the next birthday figured out, huh? No, but yeah, we would. Hopefully, can not do some yet. dancing Say, together. Say, slow down, Jennifer. Okay. <laughs> I'm not going to jump the gun, because I know you're like me. You celebrate everything. everything. We have to. We only live once, so you have to make every day count. You're right. You know? I love that. <laughs> I told you. Yes. Every birthday, Easter, Valentine's Day, whatever it is, you know, you ha we have to celebrate <laughs> it. I agree with that completely. That sounds like my thing right there. And then your husband's birthday. Yes. You gifted him with two dogs. Yes. 
What, did, what kind of dogs Well, because got? we had just lost our dogs. Oh, I'm sorry to hear and, that. And, you know, I asked him, you know, if we were going to get, like, a new puppy. And he said, you know, I'm not over our dog that passed, you know, and I'm like, obviously, I'm not either. Mm -hmm. But um, then he was away on tour, and when he was away, I just got not only one, I got two puppies, because <laughs> I just thought it was nice for them, yeah. So this is uh, Ushi and Jäger. Ushi is like a very traditional German name, so I thought it was hilarious to call her Ushi. And Jäger is like Jägermeister, it's like Jäger, which Jäger means hunter. So, um, yeah, that's them. German short hair pointer. They were so cute. Like, I saw the whole litter, and I just thought it would be nice for them that sometimes, you know, when we have to go to work, they have each other, and they can yes, play with each I other. Yes, I agree with that. Yes. We could be good but friends, girl. Poof, it's hard. You know, they're now seven months. They've pooped all over the house, peed all over the house. That sounds about right. So now I got the gates back up. You know, the kids are now old, but when they were young, I remember we had gates everywhere so that they couldn't go up the stairs, down the stairs, or out of, you know, <laughs> not go in certain rooms. So now we have gates everywhere so that the dogs can, if they poo in the house, <laughs> only poo in a certain part of the house yes. and not everywhere. I mean, it would be like in my closet. I would be in my closet. In the there. closet? Like, I'm like, it's smelling bad in here. And there would be like, you know, and then I have a carpet in the closet. So there's a dump in the closet. Anyway. <laughs> You're having a good I have time with them. now, so they're only pulling in places where there's no carpet. Oh. But they're getting better. Speaking of this, I mean, I feel like we got a lot in common. Them nails is fierce, you got the pets and everything. But now you singing and you got a new single, Sunglasses at Night. Yeah. It comes out January 26th. How did this happen? I was I mean, like, you're a singer I, have, I mean, I have, I, I, don't, I'm, I don't know how lucky I got to pull this one off because I don't have a voice like you. You oh, give that. I don't have that. But, Thank you. You know, I, I had this idea, you know, the same way how I, <laughs> how I had this idea with Snoop Dogg. And when I saw Snoop Dogg, I said, let's do this song. And then I did this song with Snoop Dogg. And then, there, here he is. I, I love him. I love him. So in he's any the best. case, I'm a huge fan of Tiesto's. Like, mm -hmm. he's like the god of EDM, of electronic dance music. Yes. And, you know, we're friendly. And then, you know, I said to him, I would love to do this Corey Hart song, Sunglasses at Night, again. Let's redo it. And he's like, what a great idea. And I'm like, right, isn't it? So then this happened. Yeah, you got a fierce clip, too. You always have to open your mouth and say what your ideas are, because you just never know. You might get lucky how I get lucky. Yeah, I don't think everybody's going to have no, your luck, but though. like, how are other people are supposed to know if you have an idea, and they might actually like that, and then it turns actually into something? If I would have never voiced that, he would have never known, and then we would have never made this song together. So I think you always have to say things. I love that. That was a clip from America's Got Talent Fantasy League. Can you tell us more about the season? So on this season, it's Fantasy League, so the judges actually have an input before they do their act. And, you know, we got to pull whoever we wanted by just pulling straws, and this was Simon's idea. Guess who pulled the shortest straw? Simon. Oh. <laughs> Which was a lot of fun. So Howie had like a long one. I had the longest one, so that <laughs> meant like I could pick always first. Uh, Mel B, third uh, longest, and Simon, who's the boss of it all, and it's his idea, the shortest stick. I mean, he walked in so like, yeah, this is the new season, this is gonna be amazing. He walked out of there so sad. <laughs> because, you know, he had the shortest stick and he always had to wait his turn last, so I feel like I had the best team, like, right from the get-go. Uh -huh. But then, you know, when another judge has a golden buzzer, they can steal your act, which is what you just saw. And this is the Ramadelli brothers. And, like, I literally, the tears were shooting in my eyes. And I, I was like, I actually want to stop right now because I'm so upset. Because Howie knows how much I love those boys so <laughs> much. And I don't know, I just had this feeling and this emotion and this connection with these guys and he knew that and he just took them for me. I don't know if I can recover from that ever again. I can tell. You seem like really <laughs> no, passionate I, right I now. Was, I was upset about it because, you know, I just love them so much and now he has them and yeah. I love your passion about it. Yeah. Now, Howie was here recently and he said that you were the most competitive. I, I can kind of see it. How do you feel about that? Oh, so you said I am and that's just that. Huh? No, I am. I am very competitive. I mean, Mel is too, but I'm more competitive, more than all of them. I can see it on her face. Can you see it on her I face? I mean, I'm, I'm so competitive that I feel like last time I fell, I fell, and I think that Simon actually tripped me to fall. 
because he was trying to take you out. I, I think they were they were trying to take me out from all angles. They were trying to like manipulate the whole situation. They were mm. all mad because I have the best team. I gotta show you what how he did the last time that he was here. What did he do Hello, now? Huh? My hobby is I take pictures. I love pictures. Yeah, so I I took this one from the back hall, and uh, oh, you take. <laughs> yeah. And we want to put your picture on the wall, and hopefully you don't. Well, come there's and a space. That one. There is a space. <laughs> Is the space available? There is one space. For some reason, I just went in the, when I went out to get your bike, I noticed in the hall, there is a space for me. Talk about being competitive. Bike. Goodbye, Heidi. Hello, Howie. <laughs> what do you got to say to that? So I'm not surprised at this. <laughs> but we prank each other. Like he you would, do? yeah, because he would do like, you know, a fun thing on his boat, like how he has his amazing boat. So he invited all the judges and Terry and we went there. But before we went there, he's like, Heidi, where are you? You, you know, you're late. Everyone is already here. And I'm like, oh, was that today? <laughs> so I, we do things like that all the time, yeah. You guys look like y'all have so much fun. No, we do, until they steal acts from me. We have fun. Uh-oh, yeah. uh-oh. Well, we had so much fun with you here today. Will you come back and see us? Anytime. You're awesome. If you like this video, smash that like button and subscribe to the Jennifer Hudson Show YouTube channel. Check your local listings or visit JenniferHudsonShow.com to see when you can watch four episodes in your area. And don't forget to sign up for the newsletter.